Hi, did something happen tonight? <laughs> okay, what would you have done if you hadn't won? <laughs> That's what I asked. <laughs> Waited till next year? <laughs> no. Um, I suppose the ball or in and out burger, which is like our staple after award shows. If you're walking right now, the ball is. Other questions? Oh, no, the guys on the left? Oh, actually, this, the front row. Was front this row. always the plan if you won mm. to propose? Um, no. <laughs> um, but I, you can't come in and plan this. Uh, be, obviously, if you're a nominee, it's not like I know I'm going to be standing there and do it. And it's been, uh, if you saw it, an interesting couple of weeks in my life. And um, it became a thought, and, and uh, the thought picked up steam as we got here. Uh, <laughs> It w this was coming. It just uh, the timing just lined up very nicely, and it was a, a, a really magical moment. It was, and thank you for saying yes. So we got yes. to share it. Thank you for saying yes. <laughs> Go ahead. Hi to the proposed bride. Which? Hi, Jeannie Wolf. Oh, over there. Um, how did you get his mother to approve of you? <laughs> oh, that wasn't a problem. We I fell in love with his mother the first time I met her before Glenn and I even got involved. So. I think that we both approved each other and became friends. And I, I, I want to help answer that one too because my my mom just passed two weeks ago and it's been really a whole lot of emotion and 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 and, and things. When uh, when my mom used to come watch rehearsals at the Tony Awards and Jan was working there at the Tony Awards, I would find Jan and my mom off in a corner just talking all the time, and to the point where they started an email correspondence and all that stuff. And and my mom would always say uh, she was my friend first. Uh -huh. And, and I, I adore that. I, I, I love that story because uh, she was, and, and, and that's what makes this feel bittersweet, but really, really nice at this point. Okay, Have you on your right. to anybody in your family? No, we've been dragged back here and thrown all over the place. <laughs> we haven't spoken to anybody yet. <laughs> on your right. Um, Leslie Messer from Good Morning America. <laughs> I wanted to. I was hoping both of you could walk me through your day a little. I mean, it must have been nerve-wracking to walk a red carpet with a diamond ring in your pocket. And did you have any idea and what was going through your mind when this was all going on? Because people were crying back here. Aww. It was like a regular day for us because we've done a lot of award shows because he produces and directs so many and has been nominated. So we're very grateful for that. So today it just felt like a normal day in many ways, so I never expected this. I was shocked. I will say this, that uh, it, it's not a diamond ring, it's my mom's wedding ring, which to me is more valuable than the Hope Diamond. It's, it's obviously precious to me. And yes, walking around on the red carpet like nothing's happening with this thing sitting in my pocket was uh, kind of a nerve-wracking experience, to be honest with you. It was a, a, such a valuable thing sitting right here, but now it's where it belongs. Sweet. In the, in the middle, in yes. the middle to the left. Oh. Um, that was, I want to build on, th on that question, Jan, to you. Did you have any suspicions? And when the camera was on you, it took you a, a good 10 seconds, I think, to react. <laughs> what was that like? Uh, I did, had no suspicions whatsoever. I, I had no idea. And he usually is so eloquent in his thank you speeches, so I was just so grateful that he won and I, I really hoped he was going to dedicate the award to his mother and he did and then some um, <laughs> but I didn't I, it's, I'm still processing this <laughs> and you saw Jan on camera as much as he did I want to say thank you to Hamish Hamilton who's directing tonight's show who uh, took the cue because obviously I didn't speak to him and he was nominated against me tonight uh, so I couldn't even like say, hey, buddy, this might happen because it was just awkward. <laughs> uh, but Hamish, right on the spot, was on her at the right point, and I'm so glad to see the, the, the replay of that. And thank you for not playing us off. Yeah. <laughs> Straight ahead, just to the left of the pole. Right here. Yes. Hi, Anna Raya, Vanity Fair. You kind of answered some of my question because I had made a comment to my friends that only the director of another awards event would know how to pull off a mid-awards event proposal. So you didn't plan this at all? You didn't give any sort of heads up to anyone? Or how did you even know that this would that was, wouldn't get played off? The, literally, the only person who had a heads up was my dad uh, from me acquiring the ring, basically. Uh, but no, and I, uh, I thought about if I were able to call people in production here or whatever.
lot of people, a lot of my friends working the show, but it didn't feel right with Hamish nominated against me, and I just didn't want to, uh, you know, I respect his space too much to, to step in and say, hey, if I win, I might do this, you know? So, uh, so no, no, uh, I just thought through from the point of view of if I was up here and what would I do? And it came to be. To your right in the second row. Angela Bishop from Network 10 Australia. Congratulations to you both. Thank you. I'd love to know the honeymoon plans and have you heard of the Great Barrier Reef? <laughs> Actually, that's on the bucket list, it I is have on to the say. List, yeah. We would welcome you. It would be a lovely place to celebrate. It sounds great. I, I, I think this is so new to us. I don't know if we even know timing of anything <laughs> at this point, but that sounds great. I'd just like to know what it was like walking up those stairs and watching your husband, or your now fiance, <laughs> kneel before that crowd at the Emmys. I can't even put words to it try. because I'm going to try. As I said, he's done so many award shows and I worked on the Tony Awards for many years, so I'm used to going up and down those stairs. And actually, one time I even fell down those stairs at one show. But walking up, it was surreal. And um, it feels like this is supposed to be the way it was supposed to be. It just feels right. Um, because he was getting an award himself and as a director and a producer, like on stage with you know, his friends and family around and others gathered around a television watching and it just feels right. And we always felt right, so I'm, I'm beyond ecstatic and there was not a doubt in my mind that we don't belong together forever. Thank you. Um, right here? Oh, cute. <laughs> on your left. Hi. Um, I'm wondering, as the director of the Oscars and uh, someone who just had a magical like TV moment, um, if you have any thoughts on the Academy's plans to put below-the-line categories during commercial breaks of the show. Well, I, I think to expand upon that, I think what we actually want to do is put below-the-line uh, proposals during commercials, because <laughs> it seems to be working, so I want to go with what works. Yes. In, in the middle, right there. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm Bill Kevney from USA Today. Uh, first, did you meet uh, while working on the Tonys? Uh, we did. And did you have a plan B for a proposal? And <laughs> if so, what was that? Uh, to be honest with you, there was no plan B, although I don't know that this was even plan A. This was, this was a thought that grew and grew and then just became. Uh, but uh, if this didn't happen exactly in this way, something else equally big and surprising <laughs> would have happened. <laughs> Thank to, you. To your right. Hi, I have a follow-up. Um, Nancy Dillon, New York Daily News. Can you talk a little bit about, if it's okay, your history, how long you've been together, or what year it was you met on the show? 10,000 years ago, it feels <laughs> like. Well, we met in 2001. We met in 2001. And we worked we, together. We've been together, I don't know, 10 years or so. And uh, it's, uh, you know, we, we both uh, have uh, daughters. I have two daughters. She has three daughters. So there's nothing but, uh, but estrogen in our world, um, <laughs> which is all really good. But um, our lives came together, you know, because of the Tonys, I guess, and uh, have centered kind of around this, this environment, award show environment, ever since. In the middle? Hi, question from TV Guide. Um, what, Jan, what did you exactly do uh, on the award shows? Um, I worked at the Broadway League, and I was the chief marketing officer for the Tony Awards. Thank you. And the last question, front row on the left. Hi, Marissa Sullivan from Us Weekly. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, so I want to know, how will you two celebrate? Besides all the parties, you mentioned in and out Is that something <laughs> you think you're going to do? Do you have a, a, I think we'll a hit thought? More, I think we'll probably hit more parties than we thought we were going to hit tonight. <laughs> uh, so I don't know if we'll make it as far as in and out But, uh, but, but honestly, how are we going to celebrate? It's uh, at least to one of us, it's news right now. <laughs> so we haven't had a chance to discuss. Uh, but I think we're going to celebrate, and probably it's going to be a long night. <laughs> Congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you. Really appreciate it.